In this tutorial we are going to make this Monster High doll roller skates. First of all I draw the shape of the doll's foot on a piece of foam. Left and right. Now I take two, place, two pieces of clear plastic two pieces of foam and the two pieces of foam with the doll's foot and I glue them together using the hot glue. I place a piece of foam underneath because it's hot. And I shape it on the doll's foot. Once the glue is solid, cut it out. Once you have the both soles, you take a piece of foam that is about the height of the shoe and you draw a line on it to mark the height of the ankle. This is going to be the angle of the shoe, not that, this. Now I am taking the sole and covering with glue one of its sides. Do not cover the front part. And glue it to the line from the side under the angle. Then glue the other side. Once the glue is solid, trim off the excess. Hold together both parts of the shoe. Is this is where you will start cutting. Mark it. Now we have to make measurements on the doll's foot. We go down once we reach the doll's foot and then we simply continue with the pencil and we do the same here. I go down with the pencil and when I hit, when I touch the foot, I simply move the pencil alongside the doll's foot. Then cut it out. I am taking what I call the tongue it has to be wide enough to cover the front and to cover the both pieces of foam. I cover with glue the both pieces of foam and the front and start gluing. And then make sure that both pieces of foam touch each other. Not till the end, I only did it till this part. Now I trim off the excess if I have to. I make the tongue a bit higher than the borders of the shoe. Trim off the excess round the edges. Now I take an orange piece of foam and start gluing it around the shoe. Trim off the excess Fill the entire 
ankle or the heel with glue and place a piece of foam paper on it. You can also shape a bit the heel by pressing inwards. Trim off the excess. Now we can start with the details. This part will go around the top. This part will go inside. This little part will go at the back of the shoe. And these three parts will go at the front. Use the wider part at the top. And two thinner parts at the front. We are now making the wheels. What it is, is a piece of clear plastic. Fold See if a bead fits in. This is where you bend for the second time. Now you trim off the excess. You make an oval on one side. You have to make sure that it doesn't cover the wheel. That's why I will cut it a bit more. And I do the same on the other side. Now I take a needle. I put a wheel inside. I make two holes. With small scissors I enlarge the hole. I enlarge it to the extent that a piece of Q-tip can come through. Do it on both sides, of course. Now take a Q-tip, cut off the top, insert the wheel, insert the Q-tip through both holes, trim off the excess, leave a bit. Then insert the next wheel, once again the needle on both sides, take the needle out, make a bigger hole, continue till you have all four holes. Now insert all the beads. You can trim off the excess of the plastic if you have. Now you have these wheels. I take a bunch of these beads, cut them in half and I simply glue them around the q-tips. And once you have finished gluing the beads, take the rounded corner, should look at the front and simply glue the whole construction to your shoe. If you find 
the whole wheel construction way too cumbersome. You can simply glue the beads, fold the plastic, glue the beads inside and glue it to the shoe. You can decorate with a flower and basically we are done.